The Royal Lake Dam in Fairfax County, Virginia, is like many flood control projects around the country. It was built decades ago with help from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. When an upgrade was needed, USDA once again helped with construction and with an important pre-construction process. We had to come out and do a little archaeological investigation to see if there was anything out here before we came in with the construction equipment and disturbed the site. And we have found several hundred artifacts dating back as far as 4,000 years at the site. Nice. Consideration of cultural resources is mandated by law for federally funded projects like this one. USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service has a system in place for that. We looked at the area and realized that there was enough area there that had not been disturbed before. So a survey was conducted over the entire work area. From 974? Okay. Partnering with local officials, NRCS brought in a team of archaeologists and other experts. And we found tools, projectile points, scrapers. The artifacts date to what we call the late archaic period. We know that one or two tribes lived in that area that might have affinity to those remains. So we contacted the Tuscarora and the Catawba Indians for this particular project. The artifacts are now in a local museum, clearing the way for a new spillway to protect the community. It's a very heavily used area. So I think people were fascinated that something was there to be found. And I thought it was pretty neat that the effort was made and it just was a very powerful partnership. NRCS, as well as all federal agencies, take cultural resources very seriously all across the country. It's all a collaborative effort. Near Washington, D.C., for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Pat O'Leary.